All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be making a uh, backpack shield out of the same Kevlar that we use for the everyday armor production. Um, my uh, production company went out of business during COVID, so I've got this roll of Kevlar and I'm going to uh, make some of it myself. So what I've done is I've measured off uh, 12 inches. It's going to be a 12 inch wide by about a 14 and a half inch uh, tall. So uh, kind of a briefcase insert or a backpack shield, but essentially just measured uh, along both sides and one in the middle, connect the, uh, connect the lines so your lines are straight. And, uh, and then I use this, uh, this is the E6000 Fray Lock. Um, this is really good stuff. Uh, Kevlar frays terribly. Um, so this, you just kind of put the stripe on your line. I already did this one and then you just run your finger over it like this. And kind of just uh, what it does is it just basically like glues all the thread uh, in the Kevlar along the seam here so it doesn't fray like uh, like this when you cut it so this is what you're gonna have if you don't lock the thread it just um, pulls out everywhere so uh, let me uh, show you how you put it put it on just the thin little strip just try to follow the line a little bit. And come back with a finger. And this stuff washes off your finger really easy. And you just kind of rub it in. Just, you know, leave enough room to cut on both sides of the line. And this doesn't do anything to the ballistics of the Kevlar. It's just like, you know, adding some glue on it. And then we got one more here. Just put it on, zip it down, and then a little finger pain. Extra from that one. This takes about, uh, it takes about two hours to dry. So I'm gonna set this Kevlar roll up, let this part be drying while I work on uh, the sewing part of another one that I've started. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Stop. Next thing here, I'm gonna measure out the strips. Uh, this one's gonna be 14.75 by 12. Uh, that comes in as an even all the way across the, the length of the Kevlar. I think it was like 45 inches um, for the length of the bolt there. That's the rest of the stuff that you saw me earlier drying. Um, so I'll measure the, the three uh, panels out of each strip, uh, and then we'll do uh, four total uh, strips. Uh, that'll give us our 12 layers that we need for the um, NIJ level two rating from this Kevlar. So um, we'll get this measured up, and then I'll show you how it's sewn. Next up, I've got it pinned here for the, uh, the three layers, 14.75 by 12. Uh, and then I've got my, uh, my Kevlar thread. This is like a Text 69, I think. It's about 25 pound strength Kevlar thread. I recommend using this uh, to add extra strength to your ballistic stuff. Um, this is about as thick as you can use in a um, just kind of a normal sewing machine. This is my daughter's. Um, it's not an industrial grade, otherwise I'd sew all 12 layers together. But um, about the most that uh, a little machine like this can handle is four layers, I've found. Um, so this three works pretty well. You just have to do it.
opened it. Now we've got kind of a basic X sewn pattern. Yeah, just you're on a different Go back thing. in, fill in a little bit more, sew up all the sides. And then we'll add in some extra. Filming still. No. Yammering away. So now you can see I've got uh, just kind of some quilting in here. Uh, I go on the diagonals. You can see it's a little bit hard because uh, the same color thread, but um, the diagonals tend to stabilize the um, you know the weave pattern. Uh, just helps kind of cinch it all together, makes it a little bit sturdier. Um, it's not, it doesn't have to be pretty. You know, you're not going for aesthetics here. It's gonna be covered. Uh, this is just to uh, kind of bind the fibers and um, give it some uh, strength in different directions. So next, uh, we've got to cut the uh, strips. I, uh, I like these, I got these at Kroger. You can see these are a micro serrated. Uh, you gotta have micro serrated to kind of grab the fibers, otherwise they slide out and you won't uh, be able to cut the strips. Uh, I had been using these uh, these Milwaukee shears, uh, same thing, micro serrated. Uh, these are a little bit heavier duty, um, but they also kind of wear your hands out. Uh, you can see just barely those micro serrations, but both of these have worked uh, to cut the Kevlar, and it also makes it a lot easier to cut when you've got um, the uh, that uh, stitch glue that uh, that you saw me putting on there earlier. So um, we'll cut these up in strips and uh, I'll be right back.
the other pair. These may have gotten dull. There's one. So now we've got our four panels here. We've got three, six, nine, twelve layers. Uh, next, what we're going to do is make a nylon cover. Uh, I've got this uh, black 200 denier, um, I think it's nylon, yeah, nylon uh, bolt of uh, fabric that I got off of eBay. And uh, We'll, uh, we'll make a covering to hold it all together, and it'll look uh, very nice. All right, so next I've outlined the perimeter for the fabric covering here. Uh, essentially, I did uh, left some margins. You can see little margins here on the sides, and when you flip it, uh, it should be doubled. Basically, I'm just gonna fold it in half, sew a couple of the sides, and then turn it back inside out, or right side out, I'm gonna sew it inside out. Turn it right side out and um, and then stitch up the, the end and, uh, and then we should be good to go. All right, so I've got two sides pinned. This is the inside of the material. When we flip it, it'll be a shinier color. That's eventually gonna be on the outside. So we're sewing inside out. Got my uh, bobbin changed out and now we're using black thread. This is not Kevlar, this is just a kind of poly thread. Um, so um, we'll, uh, we'll sew these two sides, stuff it in, and then uh, we'll sew it, flip it inside out, and then stuff it. All right, so now we have our pockets sewn here. So we'll just reach in, turn it inside out, which is right side out. Make sure you push the corners all the way.
No. <laughs> a visit from the dog. All right. And then we take our stack of Kevlar, three, six, nine, twelve, and we slide them in. Just like that. And then we can just kind of fold up and pin in the bottom here. Come on, you gonna help me with this, buddy? Back up, dude. Hey, I can't see. I can't see. All right, so now we're just pinning this. Uh, well, I don't wanna play with the cow just yet. We'll pin it like this, and then that leaves us a nice edge where we can sew right along there, and it'll hold everything in. And then this just inserts into your briefcase or your backpack, and um, yeah, now you've got uh, level two protection. Uh, this should stop uh, up to uh, kind of a snub nose 357 mag, uh, covering all your common handguns like 40 caliber, 45, 9 millimeter, uh, 380 auto, uh, it'll cover all of those. So um, that's that's how we do it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching us here at Everyday Armor and um, stay safe. All right, so here is our finished product. We've got the, uh, the seam on top, that's how you close it up. And um, the, uh, the backpack shield here. Uh, this one is more of an adult size. You can see we've got, um, let's see, yeah, it's a little over 12, about 12 and a half, and then in, in total about 15 and a half, but the, the Kevlar stops right here, so right around 15. Uh, so we'd, we'd call this probably like a 12 by 15 uh, for your protection uh, sizing. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and um, be sure to subscribe and, um, you know, check us out on the web, everydayarmor.net and uh, look for more videos coming out. Um, armor testing, uh, field tests, uh, construction like this, all kinds of things. See ya.